While the jack clamp is simply the best one-handed clamp on the market that does not fade. If you want to do more, this video will show you how to configure the clamp to easily spread, solving many of your do-it-yourself projects. You turn the bar around backwards, you now have a spreader. When you are putting the bar in either way, backwards or frontwards, you want to pull the trigger in halfway and then you wiggle the bar slightly and it will slide right in. Same with doing it backwards. Pull the trigger in halfway and it will slide right in. Now if you've ever had to glue a backsplash against the wall, you can use this clamp to do that. First we're going to clamp the first clamp around the drawer face to the countertop. We're going to take a second clamp, remove the top bar, put the bottom bar in backwards. So now we have a spreader without the top bar. And then we're going to push against the clamp that we've already clamped down. And now you can push the backsplash against the wall till the glue dries. Another project you use the jack clamp on is setting the tile over the doorway. Put the jack clamp in the spreader position, adjust this and get it close to the width of your doorway. And what I'll do is I'll show you an example here. We get the clamp set close. We take a board, set it in the doorway, expand the clamp. Now the board is held up against the door jam. And then you can add your tiles to the top of the doorway and then as soon as they're dry you remove the clamp and the board. After the tiles have dried you're going to remove the board and the clamp. Normally people will screw screws through the board into your door jam to hold that board in place Then once you're done you've got to unscrew the board and you've got to patch all the holes and then repaint it. This saves you a lot of time and effort. Another couple of uses that we've found from our customers is in the spreading position, you can use this to hold up the hood of any vehicle that the, the springs or the gas shocks have failed on. Also, if you've ever tried to check your brakes uh, on your trailer and had to push on the brake in your car and then run back to see if they're working, you can do this by yourself by putting this on the brake and on your seat and engaging your brake. So one person can do that by themselves. Also in the spreading mode, we had a customer that called us and showed us, sent us some pictures of how he repaired the axles on his trailer. The springs broke on his trailer and what, when he jacked the trailer up, both the axles came together and he had to spread them apart to get the new springs on. And he used the clamp in the spreading configuration to get the axles back in the correct position to reinstall the new springs. Voilà